Okay, hey there guys. In this tutorial, I will show you how to change the dock of your iPod Touch and iPhone. And this will work on 2.1, 2.0.1, 2.0.2, and uh, 2.0. And um, for those of you that don't know what the dock is, um, this is what it is. It's basically um, that silver background behind the four dock icons. And um, you can actually change that, and um, it won't affect your functionality. It'll just make it look a lot better. And um, I'll just show you my custom dock right now. Quick, let's get out of here. And there it is. Um, it doesn't look like much, but it's actually pretty good. I just cut it off and added a black layer over it in Photoshop. And um, it has to be in PNG form, and you need to name it capital S, capital B, capital D, um, three letters, undercase, O C K and then capital B and capital G or S B D OC B G or Springboard Doc background. Before you can do any of this, you'll need to know how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone on 2.1 software. And to do that, you can either click the bubble on the left to jailbreak, and if you don't and if you have jailbroken but you don't know how to SSH or secure shell, then go ahead and click on the right. I have really easy tutorials on both of them, and um you'll probably need you'll need both of them, but um, just watch them and uh, you should be okay. So, um, I'm just going to go right into the tutorial right now. So basically what you want to do is SSH, once you're connected, you're going to go up into root, all the way up. Not the regular root folder, but that root right there. So once you're there, you should go ahead and go into system, library, core services, springboard, dot app, and there should be a file called sbdockbg. So sbdockbg. sbdockbg, there it is. And we all we want to do is just rename it to backup. Or you can just delete it if you want. Oopsies. What in the name? My bad. Um, okay, so we're just going to go and right click and delete it. If you want to. And now, um, you're going to go back to your desktop, and the SB doc BG, make sure it's a ping file with dimensions 320 by 90. Just drag it into the springboard and copy. And there it is. Once you respring your iPod Touch, you should be able to see the new dock. If not, then you have named it incorrectly. It is case sensitive. You have to rename it SBD, all capitals, lowercase O C K all capitals bg dot png and um that's it so thanks for watching if this video helped you please subscribe if you need any help just put it in the comments below and i'll get back to you as fast as humanly possible so um that's it